Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see by the name of this title, today we're going to be going over step by step how you can set up a MetaMask wallet and start collecting NFTs. Now, I've had this question a few times from a few of you guys basically asking me, you know, thanks for the videos, Liam, and it's all good knowing about NFTs, but you know, how do I even get started? How do I start buying my first NFT? What are the steps I need to do to enable me to do that? So this video should help you out. It should give you a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do on a basic level to start getting into NFTs and get everything set up from your end. So if you find any value in this video, guys, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know what sort of NFTs you're looking at picking up and I can give you my advice in the comments and tell you whether I think it's a good one or not. Not that I'm an expert, but you know, I can help you out if you need. So let's jump straight in my computer. Let's get going and let's learn the basics we need to know when it comes to NFTs and getting started. Okay guys, so let's give you a quick basic rundown of NFTs and the processes you need to take in order to buy them. So essentially with cryptocurrency, there are a range of digital wallets that hold different cryptocurrencies and allow you to process transactions through them wallets. Now, probably the most used and the most common wallet for NFTs is MetaMask. Now, what MetaMask does is it allows you to connect to different websites and spend different tokens across the cryptocurrency networks, essentially buy NFTs and hold NFTs within that wallet. So the reason why MetaMask is so good and so popular, it's a really easy product to use. Uh, it's free to download. You simply have to go here, hit download and install MetaMask for Chrome. You're gonna come to this page on the Google Chrome store and you're gonna be able to download MetaMask to your extensions. So let's do that now and let's go through it step by step and what you need to do. For those of you that are sat there worried thinking it's gonna be a really difficult process, it's really not. It's really quite simple and this is the reason why I wanted to make this video, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys and a little bit more accessible if you was worried about the entire setup process of buying NFTs. So we get started. I already have a MetaMask, but for this example, I'm actually gonna set up a new one and show you guys the simplicity of it. So yeah, create a wallet and you agree to all of this, blah, blah, blah. You set your password. So for this one, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna use a generic password there. This account won't be used at all. So um, I, don't, I don't care what it is. So MetaMask actually do the job for me. They have a really good explainer video of how the platform works and how you can use MetaMask. So I recommend watching that if you are setting up a MetaMask account, because uh, it just gives you a few things that you need to know. Now, this is one of the most important steps. With MetaMask, if you ever get logged out or you ever lose or forget your password, you're gonna need the secret recovery phase. Now, what the secret recovery phase does is it allows you to regain access to that MetaMask account. For example, if you buy a new computer and you lose your MetaMask or you get logged out and you have forgot the password, this secret recovery phase is gonna let you back into that MetaMask account. Now, it's a unique password that each MetaMask account has and it's super, super crucial that you keep it safe and you keep these words written down somewhere uh, and somewhere where you're not gonna lose them. So I have my secret recovery phrases saved in three different places. So I know that I'm safe because obviously I have Ethereum on my account and if I lose access to that, I lose access to all of that Ethereum and all of that money essentially. So keep that safe. I recommend you write that down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere. They actually give examples of what you should do as well. So follow that. And what you're gonna to need to do in the next step is you're gonna to need to enter that secret recovery phase. So if we do that now, so we'll do that, we'll jump straight in and there you go. We now have a MetaMask account all set up and ready to go. Obviously we've got no Ethereum on here at the moment. So what we can do, we can actually buy directly through MetaMask. So you can use a platform such as Wire or Transact and it allows you to buy with your debit card and deposit it into your MetaMask, which is then gonna allow you to start buying NFTs. So what I actually do, I use Binance and uh, other platforms to buy my crypto. I then send it directly to this wallet using that wallet address up there that I've just copied. And as you can see, that is my unique MetaMask wallet ID that I then send my crypto to. The next step is where do we buy our NFTs? We've got the wallet set up. We now know how to load up on crypto. It's worth noting that when you are buying NFTs, you're mainly gonna be sticking to three main platforms. Polygon, Ethereum, and Solana. So you don't buy Solana through MetaMask, it's uh, Ethereum and Polygon, but the main bulk of all NFTs are gonna be using the Ethereum network. So as you are just getting started, I would just stick to Ethereum, just keep it nice and simple. So the next step, once you've loaded up your MetaMask with Ethereum, you can then go on over to OpenSea and you can log into OpenSea. 
So when you come on over to OpenSea, you're gonna get this page. So what it's gonna ask you to do is connect your wallet. So now we've set up a MetaMask, we can then just go ahead, click MetaMask and sign in with that account. So you'll be connecting them two services together. And then what we're gonna be able to do, we're gonna be able to see our MetaMask wallet in the top right here. And there we go. That is now our wallet for collecting NFTs and viewing NFTs. So when it comes to buying NFTs, if we go onto a project and find the Wicked 8 Bone Club, for example, we are gonna to come to, let's just say we wanna buy this guy, right? And basically you can just click buy now. Uh, you go through all these stages and then you can just confirm the checkout. Now, obviously we've got no Ethereum in our wallet at the moment, so we can't actually purchase this. But when you do add money to your wallet, you're gonna be able to see your total balance here. Now, when you do purchase NFTs on the Ethereum network, you are gonna pay a gas fee. Now this gas fee is essentially a fee that the network takes in order to process that transaction. So it actually fluctuates, it's quite volatile and you need to make sure that you are buying it when the gas is low. You do not wanna be spending thousands on gas fees. It's usually around the $100 mark when you're buying an NFT, um, but you know it can go ridiculously high if you're not watching it closely. So if you just go onto Google and you type in uh, GUI cost, it will take you to this page, Etherscan. So I always look for between a 40 to 60 GUI before I buy my NFT, because that is, that's when I know I'm paying the cheapest for the gas fees. If this goes up past 100, steer clear of OpenSea, do not buy any NFTs until it cools down. You know, this is like a stock almost, it's doing this constantly. And if you're buying at the top, you're spending a lot on gas. So you wanna be buying at the bottom and making sure you're minimizing them costs there because them $200 gas fees can add up real quick. That could be the difference of you missing out on a really good project. So look, this video is super basic and super simple, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was to create a MetaMask, create your wallet, load it up directly with a debit card, and then literally how easy it is to connect to OpenSea and create an account there. There's not really an account that's needed. It's all based off of that one MetaMask wallet. And you know, once you do have your NFTs, you can swing back on over to your OpenSea, click profile, and you'll be able to view all your NFTs here where you can then sell them, you can trade them, you can send them to different wallets, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's very, very easy and you shouldn't be scared. Don't worry about it. And you know, OpenSea's got tons of resources and different statistics that you can follow. You know, it shows the top NFTs at the moment, sort of what percentages they're seeing in the last 24 hours. You know, I've spoken about Jungle Freaks before. So if the, if, the, if you are just getting into NFTs and you've got a spare 4.5K, this is a good project to get into. This is a good, safe bet and uh, it's got blue chip potential. So look, I hope to see you guys in the comments. Let me know what projects you're looking at. I hope this video helped, but let's go on over to my camera and sign it off. Cool, so look guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope it's gonna get you started on your NFT collecting journey. To be honest, Downloading MetaMask and getting started on OpenSea was the most dangerous thing I've ever done because I'm so deep into this NFT game now and I'm so addicted to it that um, it's almost scary. My girlfriend's worried, my family's worried, but you know who's not worried? These diamond hands. We got this, okay? So um, look, before we go, I just wanna let you know, if you are only just getting started in the NFT world, feel free to click the links below in the description. It will take you to my NFT collection, which is called The Average Joes. What we do, we aim to build a community around the NFT space that is there to help anyone and everyone, uh, as well as teaching them different things within the space and sort of bringing the community together and creating a bigger purpose. There's gonna be exclusive events, networking events, talks, you name it. Um, it's gonna be a really, really cool place to be in and we are only just getting started. So jump in while you're early, come and say hello on the Discord. Ask me any questions you have as well. I'm, I'm active in the Discord, I'm an active member, so I'll be there to help guide you through on anything that you're stuck in. So hopefully we'll see you soon. And thanks again for watching this video, guys. It means so much to me. I can only thank you for the support that I've had over the last few days from the NFT community. And it's an amazing feeling to know that there's people out there just like me and you who are loving what is happening with the world right now. Okay, guys, stay safe out there. Do not get scammed by these dirty little scammers in Discord and on Twitter. Be safe, be smart, buy some NFTs. Bye-bye.